Hello everyone, today we will be looking at the plant transport system for the IGCSE qualification. The plant transport system consists of the vascular bundles, which are the xylem and the phloem. First of all, the xylem. The xylem's function is to transport water and mineral ions around the plant. It has elongated hollow cells with no end walls, which forms tubes or pipes, and this is so that there is the minimal amount of resistance to the flow of water. The cell walls are also lignified, which means it has lignin in the cell wall, and this is so that it can support the stem of the plant, and also to make the cell walls waterproof so that water will not leak out of the xylem, since it is used to transport water after all. And then we have the phloem. It's a vascular tissue which transports sucrose and amino acids around the plant. It has companion cells with a lot of mitochondria, and this is so that it can provide the companion cells with a lot of energy in order to load sucrose into the sieve tubes. Well, next one is it has sieve tubes, and this allows the rapid flow of substances, i.e. amino acids and sucrose. Because it has sieve tubes, it will have sieve plates, which will stop substances from flowing out of the plant in case the plant is cut. And this is so that the plant does not lose too much sucrose and amino acids in case it is cut. And if you look here, it provides companion cells with a lot of energy to load sucrose into sieve tubes. You can infer from this that active transport is being used to load su sucrose into the sieve tubes. Next, we have to be able to identify the positions of the xylem and the phloem in the dicot structure of the root, the stem, and the leaves. Now, first of all, looking at the root. If you are given a picture like this in the exam, always remember that in a dicot plant, the xylem is in the center of the root, therefore the xylem is this part, and so any cell which you circle in this X shape here will be correct. For example, this one. And the phloem will be just surrounding the xylem cells, so in these places. So any cell that you circle in these places will be correct as well, like this one. Next, we have to look at the cross-section of the stem of a dicot plant. This one's a little confusing. So the vascular bundles will be in this triangular shape-ish here. You will note that all of the big cells, the bigger cells, would be the xylem. So any of these bigger cells that you circle will be correct for xylem, like this one. And then for the phloem, it will just be like just next to the xylem, but it will be smaller. So please look out for the size of the cell which you circle for the phloem. It needs it needs to be like clearly smaller, like this one. And then we have to look at the structure of the leaves of a dicot plant. So the vascular bundles is positioned here. Once again, look for the biggest cell. So these cells would be, any of those cells would be a xylem. <clears throat> and then next to the xylem, just as, as before, look out for the size, look out for the smaller cells. And any of these cells here would be okay. Like this one. Thankfully, we don't have to identify the positions of the xylem and the phloem in a monocot plant. So yeah, just be glad you only have to do it for dicots. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped many of you out. Please like and subscribe for more.